I'm John. Hi, I'm Gabriel. And we're about to unbox a Form 4. All right, got a Form 4 build platform. This is the newest. All right, yeah, so here we can take a look inside. So you can see the different shape. So instead of a, a square shape, it's more rectangular um, versus what they had in the Form 3. It actually looks like it has more, more surface that? area, yeah. So we can yeah, we got more to, surface area. Yeah, we can compare it to one of the old Form 3s. You can see the difference here. A little shorter on the width side, a lot longer. I believe it's, they were saying 30% more surface area. I think that goes along with the LCD screen. Have a mixer for the Form 4 resin tank. So the neat thing about this wow. is that in the Form 3, they were magnetically held on. So when they would go across, uh, a lot of times if the, if the material was a little more viscous, or it would run into something like a print failure, it would just pop off and it would float in the tank. So this is mechanically coupled, so it will not slip off. And from what I understand, uh, they actually have some technology in the printer now that will detect if it runs into something, which indicates print failure. So they can automate uh, the detection of print failures. Before it would sweep and it would have inner channels on the top that kind of display uh, uniform. Yeah, you would see it, it would the, make a wave across yeah. as it would do it. It would push it all to the end yeah. and then it would kind of uh, come back across. And that would um, limit your uh, speed, uh, which you can Yeah, swipe this thing is lightning fast now, so yeah, look at those it cameras. has to have that ability to do that. Oh, it's gorgeous. These tanks are actually just stackable, so you can take multiple tanks and you can just stack them up um, for storage. So one thing that they did differently is um, there's no adhesive holding the two films together. Uh, the adhesive would sometimes with some of the engineering resins um, would damage over time. And um, so the tank life was a lot shorter. In this case, it's all mechanical. So um, tanks will last for, I believe they say uh, 75,000 75, layers. 75, layers. Um, did you want to feel the tank material? I know you were really interested in yeah, I don't want to, how I don't that want to is, touch how it. I might have to wash yeah, it Yeah, we, we can't, yeah, yeah, you're not supposed to touch these, but we're, we're going to touch one. Oh, yeah. 200, 500 milliliter lines. So that's something that uh, we always struggle with figuring out how much resin we actually have in the tank, uh, especially when pouring resin. Um, and now it actually shows up, so you can have a, a good idea of where you're at. If you can look at the sidewalls here, look at how much taller they are. So you're not going to have any overflows. You're not going to have any mess to clean up. It's a lot more elegant of a design. Kind of looks like a combination between a Form 2 and a Form 3, even with the tanks themselves. Uh, I remember the Form 2 uh, had the lid placed on top. Um, this is very similar to the Form 2 in the way that it's uh, stacked. So we got additional build platforms. We got additional tanks. Tank. Okay. Um, just so we have some more to get going with. Here's the old uh, swiper. And you can see for the Form 3, it lifts up and it kind of... Yeah, it's like a bulldozer. Bull, yeah, it's like a bulldozer. And then once it slides back, you have little inner channels that spread it evenly. Uh, the problem is if you sweep too quick um, and you have too much resin, you might be able to spill over the tank and that's a problem. Whereas here, the channels actually go through. It does lift them up, but it goes through. It's better mixing. Um, and it looks like it has the capability of sweeping a lot faster. I really like the design here. Um, it's also non-magnetic. Uh, it's on the outside of the tank, sweeps across as it is an LCD now. Um, you cannot have any internal components moving. So it does do it from the outside um, and it clips on as John has said before, whereas here was magnetic from the inside, move it's with the It's fully gantry. mechanically coupled now. One of the big advantages of switching to an LCD versus the laser system is gonna be the speed. You can cure an entire layer at in one shot because the LCD creates the mask the light shines, it cures that. Instead of having a laser raster across the entire uh, the entire thing. So I don't know if you've looked in one of the Form 3s or Form 2 or like a lot, a lot of the uh, uh, SLA printers that are on the market, you can you can see the laser rastering across, and it, it just you know it's just like drawn with pen, it goes all the way across and and cures the layer. Whereas this does it in a single shot. I thought they were all came with the. Uh... 
detachable, but I guess that's a separate. They thing. do have a separate they one do that, have that a separate has one. the spring. Okay. I do like this uh, better than the detachable one um, for certain resins that are easier to pull off. It makes it a lot the easier flexible to clean. Re the flexible resins work yeah. better on a tank like this. Easier to clean too. Um, you know, the, the flex, you have to take mm -hmm. it off, you have to clean the bottom. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's wipe, 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 and you're good to go. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like this uh, cloth it always comes with. The Form 3 did the same. It's time. There we go. Give me an end here. Beautiful. Wow. Wow. This is gorgeous. Black, but. No, I like that it looks good. like, it looks like they've kind of gone back towards the Form 2 design. Yeah, it's, it's, it looks like a marriage between the Form 2 and the Form 3. The display is off-centered too, kind of like the form too. I mean, the first thing you notice is the camera. Oh wow! They've put like a lot of bumps on on this screen um, with the the idea that it's going to help uh, when you go from layer to layer. You're going to be able to lift without a lot of the sticking that you have. On, on either flat plate DLP printers or on the low force SLA from the Form 3. So part of uh, what Formlabs does differently is they select an upper non-stick layer that's a little bit flexible, whereas uh, many of the FEPs and other uh, materials are usually a little bit more rigid. Uh, so if you have a large flat plane and you're trying to unpeel that, you know, you're like pretty much peeling an adhesive off of a flat surface. It's a lot of force uh, on there. The Form 3, what they did was, as the gantry moved, it was almost peeling and letting air in the bottom film throughout the print. Uh, in this case, the LCD prints all at once. Um, you can't do that because there's no moving parts. So what they did is this very clever design that allows for air to slip under on the second film under, um, allowing for the top layer to peel off and you know have that flexibility that it needs to peel off um, not all at once, but from the corners towards the middle. Sits right on there. And pull those in place. Oh. Snap, snap. Oh, that's very robust. Yeah, so this does give me sort of Form 2 vibes with the mixer, but a lot more modern. Oh, that's sturdy. That's good. No tension or nothing. That's ready to print right there. So the latch mechanism for the Form 3 is pretty much identical, but I will say this feels a lot more robust. And the uh, cartridge here is much skinnier than it is on the Form 3. So here's an example of the Form 3 cartridge. A lot bigger footprint. Um, whereas now they went with a design where instead of taking up the whole area in the back, it just takes up this area right here. So one thing I do want to say, um, I know that a lot of times you see reviews on on equipment and those are intended to be favorable reviews because the, the people getting them have, have gotten the equipment for free. We paid full price for this. Uh, I, was, I was invited to the launch event. I was able to put an order in early. We recognize the value, what it means for our resist material. And, and what it means for the future of figure engineering in developing custom materials. And what this printer can do for us uh, is, is worth every penny. There is venting now. You can connect this to a hose or to anything else. And um, you can just get the fumes right out the, the room, which is great if you want to have one of these printers in maybe a, an area where there's not a lot of uh, air circulation. Um, and one of the things uh, that Form Labs did for us was they uh, printed some of our resist material on the Form 4. Um, and when I went to the uh, launch, they showed it to me. Um, these are parts that were printed on the Form 4 uh, with our material, um, things that we had challenges with on the Form 3, and it is flawless. Resist is a material that can be used for electroplating masking. It has high chemical resistance, but at the same time also has high toughness and high impact strength. 
for uh, aerospace use in electroplating applications for say like landing gears or engine components. These are fairly large pieces. These are assemblies that will go on to them. Uh, the solutions that these landing gear components are exposed to during electroplating are very chemically aggressive. It eats away most plastics. So we had to design something with uh, very high chemical resistance, something that doesn't really exist on the market. The other thing that's happening at the same time is because these are large pieces of metal, they can bang in each other. Um, the operators, uh, they're, they're slip fit sometimes, so they will hit them with hammers. So we don't want this material shattering. So um, we spent a lot of time in development putting together a material that had both of these properties. So the chemical resistance, the high impact resistance. And what we have found is that the material doesn't, uh, is challenging to develop, but it's also challenging to print. So um, it requires a, a printer with a lot of capabilities. Uh, and what Form Labs has created here is the solution to a lot of our problems with getting getting this printed. Thank you for watching our video. Stay tuned for more videos from Figure talking about our resist material printing in this and a lot of other videos about our material development.